The weather outside may be frightful, but today's show is going to be delightful. Join us as we visit with a women's barbershop quartet called Nearly Famous and a special visit from the world's largest elf and number one toy maker. This is the holiday edition of the New Variety Art Show. Don't go away. And here he is. He isn't Santa Claus, but we love his presence. Brad Zinn. <laughs> Thank you, Van. Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Zinn. Welcome to the holiday edition of the New Variety Art Show. We hope that you're having a wonderful holiday, and thanks for making us a part of it. You know, the New Variety Art Show comes to you every week so that you can meet variety arts performers and learn what they do, how they do it, why they do it. And hopefully the next time you see a variety arts performer live and in person, you'll appreciate what they do just a little bit more. Now, if you have any comments or questions about our program, as always, I'm your host, Brad Zinn, and we want you to call in. Uh, we have a number for you to do that. And that's the number to pick up and call if you have any comments or questions about our program. We'd love to hear from you. And here's a fellow we're going to hear a lot from today, our musical director, Van Corriton. Thank you. Did you mean you're going to hear a lot from me or my loud? <laughs> yes. Can you turn the volume down on that just a little bit? <laughs> you have uh, quite a cummerbund and tie on there. Can we, can we have you stand up maybe just a little bit? And, and, uh, is that loud enough? Now, now, you make these, is that right? Well, I paint them. Do you them. sew them? No, I just I paint them. Oh, you paint them? I paint them. Uh, my goodness, it looks like you got hit by a Sherwin-Williams <laughs> paint truck. I call this my Jackson Pollock model. Your Jackson Pollock model. Right. Is there an echo? In here? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Have a seat. That was great. Thank you. That was great. And that's one of the many right. talents that you one have. One of the many talents. Besides I singing and playing uh, keyboard and all that sort of thing, yes. you are also a very talented artist. Thank we you. had one of your paintings on here one time. That's right. We did. Right. With and now me. you're working paint on uh, fabric. <laughs> no numbers. Yeah. yeah. No numbers? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Well, we're glad you're here, and we want to, since this is our holiday show, yes. I see you brought your Santa hat, Yes. but we want to extend a very special welcome, or uh, holiday greeting to our Jewish friends out there as well. So, Lachaim Do we have shalom. any Jewish friends out there? I'm hoping. Or am I the only one you got? <laughs> <laughs> well, Shalom and Lachaim and uh, Thank you. Happy Hanukkah. You're not going to let me show the other cummerbunds? Oh, okay. You got more? Well, while you're, <laughs> while you're grabbing those, let's talk okay. about a couple other things. Go ahead and grab okay. those. Um, we had Rod Wolf, the stuntman, on our program not too long ago, and he was talking about how dangerous it is to be a stuntman. <laughs> and in the paper not too long ago, there was an article uh, under the National News Brief about six, uh, there it is, about six stuntmen that were injured in a blast, and they uh, had to be taken to the hospital. I also saw this on the National News on NBC. So it is very, very dangerous, and... Uh, they, uh, it was a special effects explosion on the set of the new Jack Palance movie, but apparently they will be okay. So, Rod, if you're out there, stay safe, guy, and come back and visit us again. You know, we have a lot of loyal viewers here on the uh, New Variety Art Show. You may not believe it, but uh, we want to say... mother. Yeah, <laughs> besides her, we want to say some special highs to Lois and Charlie Earle, uh, Barbara Greenewalt, George Anagnost, his staff and clients who watch, Bob McNabb, who I met out at Superstition Springs Mall on Halloween, he, he watches every week, and all the other folks out there at Superstition Springs, he's, uh, they're the uh, folks that, uh, that make it possible for us to do this show. 
Steve Peebles, I think, is the guy that called and said to lose the beard. I, I don't remember for sure, but Steve, hi, thanks for calling. And Ben called from the Glendale area. He watches all the time. Again, another young gentleman, about 16 years old, watches every week. And thanks for tuning in, Ben. We appreciate the call. Now, hi to all the other viewers that uh, watch but don't call as well. Oh, these are some of the other ones that yeah. you do. Okay. All right. Over Just to prove everything isn't Jackson. Yeah, Pollock. really. Okay, we'll yeah. hold we'll hold these both up and let's right. tilt them down so they don't glare too much. There, those are really nice, Van. Those are really beautiful. Thank well, you. thank Women you. Wear them too, which is a lot of fun. Yeah, it. You know, men's clothing is very big for ladies these days. It is very they big. They usually have to take it in. <laughs> well, listen. On to our uh, uh, holiday program now. Bob Rick's uh, uh, house is open from six to ten p.m. Thanksgiving through New Year's. This is a documentary that you may have seen that I did on Bob Rick's house. That's all decorated up for Christmas, and a lot of calls have come in on that program. So if you're watching the New Variety Art Show and you also saw that show, I want to tell you that that house is located. At at about 16th Street and McDowell, and if you'd like to go by, tell Bob where you uh, where you heard about it, and tell him we said hello. Now we have some billboards to put up to talk about uh, some of the shows that are coming up. The Lynn Roberts Big Band Jazz Show that I'll be a part of, January 21st, 93, at 7:30 p.m. in the Alhambra High School Auditorium, 37th Avenue and Camelback. Tickets available at the door. Doors open at 7, and that's to benefit the Sexual Assault Recovery Institute. So. Uh, want to invite you to come out and see us. The IBM International Brotherhood of Magicians is what that stands for, not, IB, uh, not, not the IBM a, you're thinking no, of. No, Ring no. 55 presents an all-star magic show on March 19th and 20th, uh, two different public shows at the ASU School of Music Theater. For tickets, contact 934-2057. Now, let me tell you, that is not the number for the ASU School of Music uh, Theater. That is uh, a member of Ring 55 that's handling the tickets, so don't call and expect to talk to the ASU Music Theater. Okay, and and also coming up, uh, oh, I know what we have. A lot of our friends are performing in the Valley, and we want you to go out and say hi to them. Kim Welsh is at the Via Luna and at Maryland's Mexican Food Restaurant. Kenton is also at Maryland's Mexican Food Restaurant, not on the same nights, of course. Flash Covington is at Cafe Creole and out at Rawhide. Be sure you call ahead, folks, and find out when they're going to be there before you trek on out there, okay? We want you to show up on the nights they're there. Uh, Kevin Barnes is still up at the Excalibur Hotel <laughs> in uh, <laughs> Las Vegas. He'll be back in just a minute we hope. There we go. And Michael Finney just signed a five-month contract to appear at Trump's castle in Atlantic City starting in January. If you get back there, tell him we said hello. Fiddlin' Saul Redneck, the uh, fiddle player, is at the King and I Coffee House and Tony and Maria's Pizzeria. Uh, congratulations to all these people out there working, keeping Variety Arts alive in the Valley. If you'd like more information, call 841-6507. All right, we're back. And... Um, we have a very uh, uh, important announcement to make. Dimension is going to um, uh, change the schedule after December 20th. So watch between shows on the half hour of the hour to see the schedule to find out when we're going to be on after that. Because like most times, we don't have a clue when we're going to be on when they change the schedule like that. And in, uh, this is our last show, folks. We're not scheduled to You're take kidding. any Nobody more. Told this me. is it. This is the it. big finish, man. Oh it's God. over. We're going to wrap it up and go home for a while. But uh, being our last show, we want you to know that we're going to be in reruns or encore performances, <laughs> presentations, all of 93. So if you just found us or if you have a favorite show you'd like to see again, they're all going to run again in 1993. So oh. make sure it's a regular weekly viewing habit. We're the new variety without are... the beard this time? <laughs> <laughs> That'll be a beardless show. Uh, we are taping a special anniversary show with clips of a lot of our... Yes. 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 Oh, the Little. rabbi will like that. <laughs> <laughs> we, we may not make the anniversary show if you keep that up. But anyway, watch for that in January. So uh, we'll see you on the uh, January anniversary show. We want to thank everybody for being a part of uh, our uh, program here over the past year. And our guest today, let's get to our guest because we have... Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, that's right, that's right. Before we get to our guest, you had this prepared a, a, little, uh, a little special Hanukkah song that you're going to do for us for right. our Jewish friends out there. So, happy Hanukkah. That's why here's, I have the Santa hat. Here's Van to play. Do it for us. Hanukkah, Hanukkah, Yom Tifasheder Alustiker, Afrelicher, Nitan Afazoyder alle Nacht in Dreadler spielen mir, Zürich heiße Lackes, erst ohne Schier. Geschwinde sind Kinder, die Hanne gelügt der Lechon, sind all Hanissen, wird Gott vor den Nissen und Grund geht der Hans in den
Thank you very much. Don't Peter. ask me what I just said. No, I know it. <laughs> that was beautiful. It's about the Hanukkah lights, lighting the candles and having the latkes, the which are the potato pancakes. Right. And, and I heard a dreidel in there somewhere. The dreidel, there. the little yeah, top that you spin, and the children play with that, right. you know, keeps them And this busy. is to celebrate the oil lasting eight days. Exactly. That's about how often I need to change the oil in my van, but that's <laughs> yeah, another, I, I don't think that's a miracle. Maybe it's well, a anyway, Hanukkah van. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you that's very me. much, Van. That You're was welcome. beautifully done. Now, we, we want to get to our guests. We yes. don't want to cheat them out of their no. time today. Our guests today are collectively known as nearly famous, an all-woman's barbershop quartet comprised of Claudia Huff, Pam Block, Connie Gable, and Judy Schleter. We asked them to come by to share some holiday favorites all with right. us and to give equal time equal to the time. women's barbershop devotees, of which there are many. You know, we had the male barbershop yeah, quartet. So great. now here's the, uh, the women. And I know you'll enjoy the harmonious sounds of nearly famous. Take it away ladies. Walking in a winter wonderland In the meadow we can build a snowman And pretend that he is Parson Brown He'll say, are you married? We'll say, no man But you can do the job when you're in town Later on we'll conspire As we dream by the fire To face on our friends plans that we made, walking in a winter wonderland, in the meadow we can build a snowman, and pretend that he is worse and well, he'll say are you merry, we'll say no man, but you can do the job when you're in town, and later on we'll conspire, as we dream by the fire, to face on our friends. Walking in a winter wonderland Very, very pretty. Thanks for being here today, ladies. I know it took a lot for you to come out and give up part of your time today to be here with us. We want to introduce everybody. Uh, Judy Schleter is, is this young lady right here. That's uh, singing baritone, and you are also the spokeswoman for the group. Is that, uh, is I that right? I do most MC work. Okay, good. And uh, how long have you ladies been singing together as a group? Off and on for four years. Off and on for four years. We want to make sure we everybody yeah. can hear you. Off and on for four years. We sang for a while, then we didn't sing for a while, and now we're singing again. Well, that's good, and I'm glad you are. Okay, let's meet Pam Block, who sings uh, lead. And uh, when did you first get interested in barbershop singing? About six years ago when I heard the men sing. Oh, really? Yes. Kind of, uh, did you attend a particular function, or just I was, was at a uh, Christmas performance in a mall in Kansas City. Yeah, a mall in Kansas City? Yes. Kansas City, Kansas side, or Missouri, Missouri side? Missouri side. Oh, okay. Well, my relatives are all from Topeka, so, but we'll, we'll count you in anyway. Well, okay. We'll <laughs> <that one. laughs> and next, uh, let's see, I think we have Claudia Huff. That's it. That's Claudia, and you sing bass. I sing bass, that's and right. Now, we've baritone, lead, and bass. Now, this, this could get very confusing for people who don't understand how vocal parts are divvied up in a barbershop quartet. Now, you don't actually sing like an F below C no, or something. I so why don't you explain how this works out that you sing bass when probably you're closer to an alto if anybody I knows what the designation is. I would probably be a second are. alto in uh -huh. choral music. Barbershop is a whole different world uh, than choral music, and they use the same parts of names for the parts as they did with the men's. And it's, it's baritone lead, uh, bass, and tenor. So and it's actually the tenor uh, is real high and the bass is real low and these guys are in between. Uh huh. So now, what, uh, what in the ladies' range or the women's range? What what is the highest? Is it a first soprano? You is that the highest? About uh, a first. 
Probably about a first soprano. Uh, yeah. All the way down to? To uh, second alto. Second alto. But they, it's designated as a barbershop quartet, bass, baritone, and all that. Right. Very good. Well, thanks for being here, Claudia. And last but not least, we want to meet Connie Gable, who sings tenor. Yep. And uh, how often, now, obviously, you don't just meet up and all of a sudden go out and start <laughs> singing. So tell us about a lot of people. We want people to know there's a lot of work to do this. How often do you rehearse and get together and practice? Well, normally it's once a week. Get together every week and um, about, about how many about, hours? About do you? three hours. About three hours mm -hmm. once a week. Now, do you do you fight or draw straws on what songs you're going to sing? Sometimes. <laughs> 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 uh, generally, we have a little business meeting and get together and decide what songs we want to sing and uh -huh. take it from there. Uh huh. And do you compete? Do you uh, are you in competition? Yes, we just competed at novice competition for this region, and um, we're planning to compete in the spring at regional. Very good. Well, I want to make sure that we have enough time for you to do a couple more numbers for us on our holiday show. So, ladies of Nearly Famous, take it <coughs> away and thank you. Ooh. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bell swing and jingle bell ring. Sound and blow in a bushel of fun. Now the jingle hop has begun. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell twist. Jingle bells chime and jingle bells shine. Dancing and prancing in jingle bell square. In the frosty air. The right time is the right time to rock the night away. Jingle bell time is a swell time to go riding in a one horse sleigh. Giddy up, jingle horse, pick up your feet, jingle around the clock. Mix and mingle with the jingle bell beat. That's the jingle bell, jingle bell rock. That's the jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock.
Well, we, you certainly have brightened our Christmas for us around here. Uh, you know, I wanted to find out a little bit about how uh, people can get involved with barbershop quartet singing because there are men's groups and ladies group. But for the Sweet Adelines, which I believe is the chorus that you folks belong to, uh, would you, who, who can tell us uh, who to get in touch with about that if you, uh, oh, if you have okay. uh, we some... We sing with the Mesa East Valley Chorus of Sweet Adelines, uh -huh. and they can contact our director. Her name is Linda Kelly. Linda Kelly, okay. Oh, I think we have a phone number for oh, that, good. but uh, why don't you go ahead and tell us what it is. Terrific. Her phone number is 839-7979. Okay, 839, there it is, 7979. So if you're interested in getting involved with barbershop quartet singing, uh, that's the way to do it. Now, you ladies have a show that you're uh, doing with the Mesa East Valley Group, mm -hmm. and well, I think we have some information to put up about that. Why don't you go ahead and tell us about that show that's coming okay, up. Okay, our show is January 30th. It's at Apache Junction High School in Apache Junction. And for tickets or for information, uh, they can contact Peggy, and her number is 893-2764. Okay, and there's going to be two shows that There'll day? There'll be an afternoon matinee and an evening show. Okay, and they need to call that number to find out what time to and find out the times directions and the tickets, and and the and tickets the and directions to the Apache Junction mm -hmm. High School. Okay, so we should, that should be great. We have a lot of winter visitors here at that time of year. Mm -hmm. So, uh, very good. Well, uh, I really think that uh, we should do another song, don't you? Uh, would, that, would that be good? Uh, oh, 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 wait, what? Merry Christmas! Oh, my goodness! Look who's I here! Hear. We have a very special visitor. Hi, ladies. Here we go. We want to put you right out here in front so everybody can see you there. Hello, Santa. How Thanks you doing, Brad? In here. Good to see you again, sir. How's everything up at the North Pole? Just fine. Nice and cold. Uh huh. And uh, what uh, what are the popular toys going to be this year? We want uh, we have some young viewers out there. What might they expect under mm. the tree this year? What's video games? Video games. Definitely. And the dolls are coming back in, the Barbies, too. Ah, uh -huh, the Barbie dolls? Mm -hmm. okay. Holiday Barbies, pretty popular. Holiday Barbie. Mm -hmm. Okay, what, does she have a little too, too, too much eggnog? Or? Just like all the rest <laughs> of the holiday dog Barbies. <laughs> well, now we have, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to touch the mic here, so I hope nobody gets uh, frantic here, but we have a very special elf visitor here today. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Margaret. Margaret, how long have you been an elf? Well... Uh, let's say a few years. <laughs> <laughs> now, I understand that you've just been traveling all over the country. Have you been doing reconnaissance work for Santa? Uh, well, not exactly for that. Uh -huh. uh, during the summer and, uh, well, not for the holidays. But as you know, uh, I was one of the munchkins uh, before I became an elf. Uh -huh. I was one of the munchkins and one of the sleepyheads in the famous... Wizard of Oz. In the Wizard of Oz. Yes. My goodness, and you're and you're here in the valley now, and you help Santa. Yes, I uh, I do both. I help Santa during Christmas, and I work as an elf. And then when I'm not working as an elf, then I'm back on the road, advertising. Munchkin. Very good. <laughs> and uh, I understand that you uh, recently saw Ted Turner sometime yes, over the I summer? Yes, uh, I was with Ted Turner uh, sometime back. Do you think Santa's going to come visit Ted this year? Oh, I'm sure he will. Has Jane been a good girl this year? Oh, I think so. Okay, all right. <laughs> well, you've brightened our Christmas. Thank you for Thank being you here, Margaret. Thanks for having all me. All right. And Santa, we have, uh, I have another couple questions for you, uh, okay. if, we have, if we have time here. Uh, is uh, the book of good boys and girls. Now, uh -huh. for years, I know you've done that on paper. Right. Have you, have you finally oh, come yeah. in? We put, it on, we put it on Microfish, and now it's on computer. It is on computer. Mm -hmm. Do you have a laptop that you take with oh, you? Sure. Go to uh, door to door or house mm -hmm. to house and all that kind of stuff? You know that. It's just like the one you've got. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How's Rudolph, by the way? I, oh, he's fine. I wouldn't, yeah, uh, fine. I would be remiss if I didn't ask you about Rudolph. Yeah. And Mrs. Claus? She's fine, too. They're both in, hanging out in Flagstaff right now. Oh, are they? Okay. It was a little bit too warm here too warm in the desert. Yeah. All right. Well, now, uh, should the boys and girls leave you milk and cookies? Because I used to do that. And Absolutely. And Rudolph likes carrots. Rudolph likes carrots. But okay. you remember about the celery, right? Okay. Never give Rudolph celery because he only makes left turns. Oh. <laughs> it takes forever to get there like that. Now, how do you get down the chimney? Because a, a lot of kids out there probably think, well, Santa, you know, it's got We usually don't do that anymore. Oh, really? What, what's your, what's your modern day solution? front door. The front door. Mm -hmm. Well, now, in some parts of the uh, neighborhoods, that could be dangerous. Well, not if you're real quick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, very good. And uh, you're going to be all over the valley this, mm -hmm. this uh, Christmas, aren't you? Mm -hmm. uh, is there any place where uh, kids can come and see you? Uh, we have a real nice place that's out in Mesa. It's called Winter Wonderland. It's right across the street from the mall, from Fiesta Mall. Uh-huh. It's a beautiful place. Uh, 
uh, we'll be out there every day. And you'll be out there, and kids can come by, and maybe Absolutely. get could they maybe get a a, a candy cane from? But you? of course, and their picture taken, whatever they want. Okay, and and leave Have their a carnival. It's really a fun time out there. And leave their wish list with you. Absolutely. All right. Well, uh, I uh, I think. Uh, it's about time that we wrap this up, our special holiday presentation here. I just want to take a minute and say uh, thanks to all of my crew and staff and everybody that's been a part of our show over the past year. We've done, uh, this is our 52nd show now that we'll have taped. And we want to thank all of the hard work, the loyalty of all the people that have volunteered and donated their time to come down here and help do this. And we want to thank you, Van Corriton, for being a part of this and uh, all of the crew people out there. We're going to meet everybody on the... Um, anniversary special coming up which I've been told now is going to run 7 p.m. on Friday nights in January so 7 o'clock Friday nights January tune into our anniversary show that's where you'll get to see a lot of clips and a lot of silliness uh, uh, wrapping up the uh, past year's activities want to thank Margaret Pellegrini our favorite munchkin and elf for coming by thank I you. would be remiss if I didn't thank Santa and I was Very a good, good boy this year I tried to be I know that so I checked right. all right so I want you to come by and of course nearly famous the women's barbershop quartet for coming by and singing those lovely holiday songs for us and we're going to go out now with uh with a little special treat van will play and the uh, nearly famous will lead us we'll let them maybe move up uh, santa and margaret maybe come over and join me this way Very good. there we go we'll get the ladies over here and we're going to sing a, an old holiday favorite here for you and say good night thanks everybody and remember support variety arts and